First thing I'm going to do is start with foundation and for foundation I mix two colors together because at the moment in California it's like kind of summer, not really, it's like weird. So I'm in between being super deathly pale and a little bit pale, which is what these are. So I mix my really expensive foundation and my really not super expensive foundation together on the back of my hand. This is my Marc Jacobs one in ivory light and then my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous, please focus, in Classic Ivory. I put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. I do like one pump of that. And then this is really fancy. It's like, yeah, and then I do like a little, So you basically want it about like even, at least for me. Ooh, ooh, almost dropped it. Then you're gonna mix that together. So it's gonna take five years. Dot that on my face. Oh, I look cute. And usually I play music when I, ugh, I need to get my hair out of my way. Okay, usually I play music when I'm doing my makeup, but I don't wanna get copyrighted to the moon and back, sued as heck, so I'm not. All right, and then I'm gonna take whatever's left on the back of my hand and just smear that on my neck so I can blend it. And I have a hive, which is cute. Um, and then I'm gonna take my sponge, my damp sponge, and just blend that all together, which takes five years because I take a lot of time doing my foundation. Cute as heck. You wanna like blend it back towards your hairline. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder so I'm not getting it all over me. I mean, it is all over me, but you know what I mean. I mean you want to blend it back into your hairline and like towards your ears and stuff too, so that it looks like your natural skin color. I mean, it is, but oh, my hive is so itchy. Oh, my nose itches. My nose always itches when I do this. I don't know why. And it's really frustrating because I can't itch it. I can't itch my itch. Gus hates it when I say that. He's like, it's a scratch your itch. I'm like, uh, shut up. Let me live. So now that you're done blending all of your foundation. Next time we move on to concealer. I don't know where my concealer is. Oh boy, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna use my NARS concealer. Cute in the shade Light Chantilly. Chantilly. I'm running out of it, so I have to like scrape the corners. It's really sad. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put that in like a triangle shape underneath my eyeball. And then a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my nose, down like the bridge of my nose. And then I'm not gonna do it up there. And then a little bit on my chin, cause I'm a little bit of a, a little friend. Friend. Pay me like one of your French girls. And like, I try to keep it sort of a, like inside of my cheekbone because that's where that highlight is. It's like above your cheekbone kind of. Oh, that was a lot. Oops, 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 oh well. The eyes are done. Kinda look like a raccoon. Now that concealer is on my face, I'm gonna blend that out too with my trusty sponge. And I put, a lot of people don't do this, but I put concealer on the lid of my eye as well because I get really veiny eyelids and I don't like the way that looks. And I think it gives like a nice base for your eyeshadow. That's just my personal, what I do, but you don't have to do any of this. <laughs> when I was younger, I was literally like a stick of mozzarella. I was homeschooled and I just never went outside. I'm still homeschooled. Okay, so now we're gonna set my face. I'm gonna set my face in powder so I can touch it again. Woo! And I'm gonna use my Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Translucent Powder. And I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow flat. It looks like it's like a crease brush, I think. Oh, look at me, I'm a beauty girl. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna use this brush to set the concealer under my eyeballs, like so. You're not going to want to do swiping motions because that's going to move your concealer around. So you want to do it in dabbing motions. Get the excess off. You're just going to want to do that everywhere you put like concealer, which is fine. Recommend it. And I'm holding my hair back because I don't have a bobby pin at the moment. <laughs> so excuse me. Cute. Cute as heck. And then, missed the job. And then you're going to want to take a big fluffy brush. I got this off of Amazon from Twin Beauty. And you're just going to want to dab your powder. Just a light, a very light layer of powder because I don't want to look, I don't want to have like a matte look really. I still want it to look, this word, luminous. <laughs> Might have put too much powder. So we set our foundation and concealer. Now we're gonna move on to 
contouring and highlighting. <laughs> I'm gonna use my contour and blush two contour kit from BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my contour brush. Looks like this. Please, please. There we go. From best best top these dope. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna use the darker color, this one, and just contour my cheekbones, my jaw my chin a little bit, and also just put some on my temples. So you're gonna wanna take your brush, pointy little brush, it's a pointy brush, so I can get right in there. And I only dab it like two or three times, and I really take a lot of this off because I don't want it to be too dark. And then I do this, a little bit. And then I just start from my hairline and blend. That looks way darker on camera. That's really interesting. That's so weird. Whoa. In real life, this is very blended, but on camera does not look very blended at all. And you wanna go right underneath your cheekbone, where your cheekbone is, and then just blend upwards towards your beautiful temple. Woo. Hi, Roxy. Please don't jump on my very expensive camera. Please don't. Dude, don't. No. I'm gonna kill you. Ah! I dropped my brush. Stop! i take this bag of apples away from you. I'm gonna look cute as heck. I'm gonna look cute as heck. Having a good time. Ugh! It looks so dark on camera. That's so cool. All right, this must be really annoying by now. But I think that's fascinating. Yeah, boy. Also, I have a question. Would you guys ever want me to do like a video in German? Because I'm going to Germany. I'm leaving on the 19th of May this month. And I'm going to be vlogging. So I want to know if you guys want me to like speak German sometimes and put subtitles or not speak German at all or you want me to do full videos in German because I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I want to know. I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. This side is darker. It's always it happens. happens. Blend it until you feel better. That looks pretty the same. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pig. E-I-E-I-O. Ooh, girl. Ooh, Jemima. Hello! There's my cat! So now I'm going to put on a uh, blush. <laughs> blush. I usually use this CoverGirl, can't read backwards, True Blend blush. It's really pretty. It's got like highlighter in it and it's a very, very, very beautiful color. And I use my blush brush. It's an angled brush. Pretty simple. This is from O Concept. On concept. Why do these brands put cursive as their fonts? I can't read it. So I'm just gonna dab some of that on there. Get off the excess. And just put this on the apples of my cheeks. All right. And now we're gonna move on to my favorite part, which is highlighting. And I use the Mary Luminizer. I love this. And then I'm gonna take my fan brush. It doesn't have a brand on it, so I don't know what brand it is, but it's a fan brush. Put it on the peaks of my cheekbones. Then I'm gonna put this also on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. <laughs> and I also take this and put it in like my T-zone. Yeah! Man, I love highlighter. Oh, gotta do my eyebrows. I usually don't do my eyebrows, but I'm doing it today because I got an eyebrow pencil yesterday. And I'm really excited about it. But I want to a little bit right now, so I'm going to. <laughs> I feel like it's like nice to do it. You're like, oh, you go to an event, you're like, oh, I filled in my eyebrows for this. Like, it's like special. I don't know. Is that weird? Like, it's like a nice sentimental thought. Like, I care enough. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's okay. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Theme song of my life. Now we're gonna do eyeshadow. I'm gonna take this darker red ish color. This palette is the La Palette Nude En. Oh by L'Oreal. For my lid, I'm gonna use Starlight by Bare Minerals and this color is so pretty. So I'm taking my fluffy crease brush from Bistop Bestupe, I don't know how to pronounce it, and putting that all up in my crease. You wanna do this in like circular motions in the outer corner of your eye, but once you move in towards your inner corner, you wanna start doing like windshield wiper motions. I mean, you can, I switch off. I don't just stick to Juan. You can do whatever you want. So then you're gonna take, I have another eyeshadow brush and it's angled. 
And I'm going to take this and use this, use this pretty little cute little angled brush and use my Bare Mineral, Bare, Bare Minerals Starlight. It's very pretty. Ooh. And then just tap this onto my lid and also the inner corner of my eyeball. Ooh, poked myself. That's okay. Don't need it. Don't need to see. That's okay. Ah ha 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 ha. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. I usually use eyeshadows eyeliner because I think it just holds better in my opinion, but you, know, you obviously don't have to do this if you don't want to. For this look, I will use this brown color called Timber. I think it's very pretty. Are you even? <gasps> oh my god. I am so talented. <laughs> just kidding. I'm mildly talented. Ah! Oh! Oh! Don't tear. Don't tear. Don't tear. Ha! Huh. Uh, put myself in the eye. Ooh. And then you're gonna wanna move on to highlighting the inner corners of your eye and your brow bone. Gonna take my cute little fluffy brush, little one, and use the color Air. This palette, by the way, is the Patty Dubroff Dream Palette. And then you're just gonna pop that on your brow bone. Yep, beautiful. Wonderful. And then you're gonna want to take a sort of I don't know what this brush is called it looks like this and I Take whatever color I put in my crease and put it along the lower lash line of my eye to Sort of just blend it and bring it all together. Oh, yeah We're getting places people. This is the weird part for me. I'm like, ugh. Please. And then after I've done the, 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 this part, I will take my precision brush again and then just sort of take down from the flick, just bring down the color a little bit into the outer, outer, outer corner of my eye on my lower lash line. Okay. I'm really excited because I just got this new mascara yesterday and it's Star Wars. I love Star Wars so much. And it has one of my favorite quotes and it's waterproof because I don't have any waterproof mascara so I was like I need a waterproof mascara and I got one and it has quotes on it it says you're my only hope that's like my favorite line from Star Wars anyway oh, oh I need to curl my eyelashes what am I getting overexcited here uh, I got to curl your eyelashes with your uh, handy dandy eyelash curler so I'm just gonna do that real quick okay so after you curl your eyelashes you're gonna want to do mascara and I'm so excited for that okay. <gasps> What I do with my mascara is I don't start from the roots. I go from the ends of it first because I feel like that lengthens them more for at least my eyelashes. So I'm really excited for this mascara. Oh. And usually what happens if like I see that my eyelashes are starting to clump, I will just take like a, a spoolie, <coughs> a spoolie, and just kind of go through it so that the clumps go away slightly. I take two different mascaras for my top and bottom lashes. It really just has to do with the brush, to be honest. And I'm kind of scared <laughs> if I put this mascara on my bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are really long. Well, like my eyelashes are super blonde, so you can't tell if my eyelashes are so long on the bottom. So I'll kind of look like I'm just crying. I know that this mascara, Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline, is really good for my bottom lashes, so I'm going to do that now. Really carefully. All right, and then you just wanna do this on your top, wherever you got mascara, and you want to get it off. Let's do that. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is lipstick. It's a chubby stick. It's from Lef Revlon. It's matte balm. All right. Yay! So that completes my everyday makeup. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you like these kind of videos as well. I really enjoyed making this video and it's, you know, I just really like doing makeup and stuff like that. So if you guys like those type of videos, leave down in the comments below what other type of makeup tutorials you would like me to do. And leave a thumbs up if you liked it. So subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen. What you know about me? What you, what you know about me? What you know about me? What you, what you know? It's in my lip gloss. Is my lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep jockeying. They chase me at the school.